Hello there. Notch brush is going to be my Ever Ready 100 Restore with a high mountain white knot in it. This brush was restored for me by Anthony McKenzie Jr. It's a fantastic brush. We're going to set this brush in the scuttle. Let it soak up some water. And our soap tonight is a favorite of mine. It's Wild West Shaving Company's The Virginian. Uh, I've lived all over the southern half of the United States and Virginia is my home. I'll die in Virginia. Uh, I love this state. I love the people in it. I love the countryside. Just uh, I fell in love with it when I worked here as a teenager and as soon as I became an adult and was able to I headed right back up to Virginia and I've been here ever since and uh, this is a wonderful soap it's uh, the sense of blackcurrant, vanilla bean, amber, vetiver and nutmeg and it's a fantastic uh, sharp like scent cologne scent that's just wonderful of course this is a tallow soap I just put a little water on the puck and now I've uh, drained it off and I'm going to go ahead and load up my brush hope everybody's doing good uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, have good days and bad, but I think I'm starting to get a handle on what I think is uh, turning 55. Basically, I'll turn 55 in December, and uh, I think basically I've been dealing with a lot of midlife stuff, and. Uh, and all but you know hey I could be pushing up daisies uh, I love florals but those are not ones that I want to visit anytime soon so with this soap it's a very it's a small tin about the size Russell calls them tobacco tins so I would imagine they're like uh, about the size of a skull can something like that uh, chewing tobacco snuff whatever you want to call that uh, so I always of course I always do it anyway but I always load it like I hate it but, and with this soap that's definitely something that you want to do out of these smaller tins just simply because they are smaller and this is a 24 millimeter knot but now and that's pretty good size for this the smaller tins like he has come in uh, if you were using a 26 or 28 millimeter knot then you know uh, you would that would be more important even then even more important there we go. And I've already drained the water out of my scuttle. We're just going to go ahead and, and make some soap. I love this soap. There are this soap and Monica Gillum's Van Ulay are two of my favorite. They're probably, well, I know they are absolutely my top artisan soaps that I like. Uh, 
really hard to beat. This is a fantastic tallow soap. Anybody that has not tried it is really doing themselves a disservice. And I don't say that just because I consider Russell a friend, but because the soap is that good. And there are probably hundreds of guys in the shaving community that have testified to that already. Just fantastic stuff. I want to put, I want to be uh, really generous with the water. This soap can take it. It's gorgeous. All right, we're back. It's with our face. I have a couple of days growth at least. It's just lovely. The scent in the uh, puck is so sharp. That uh, it'll almost burn the nose hairs off. Uh, but when you once you lather it, that sharpness is still there, but it's not quite as acute. But it's just a lovely. I mean, Russell when he first started making this, he he said he was talking to the guy that played the Virginian on. The television show but he also said he got a lot of inspiration from the things that he had seen me uh, like the scents that he had seen that I really liked or he felt that I got kind of excited over and uh, so it may not be a tribute soap to me uh, but it is right dead on the lines of things that I really enjoy it's fantastic stuff tonight's razor is going to be my J.R. Torre faux frame back fantastic little well 6.8 so maybe not so little but just a beautiful razor. Takes a scalding edge like every other Torre I ever owned or used. I love these razors. I'd like to find about a hundred of them. Uh, I've never shaved a JR Torre. that didn't give a fantastic shave and they are or were probably the most reproduced or the most widely distributed American Razor you'll find. So there's a ton of them out there. And if you run across one in good shape, get it. I'm with these kind of like guys. A lot of guys are with double ducks and stuff like that. But these aren't expensive. Uh, and you can find double ducks if you're looking. If you look locally.
I found a couple with her again. Dude, that's almost BVS with just one pass on that chin. Uh, but I found uh, at least a couple of double ducks, probably two or three. But again, most of the sellers either base their price on eBay or they uh, scope out eBay and know that the that those razors a lot of times dude that's a beautiful edge a lot of times command a premium the Torres you can find on eBay too and they're not going for double duck prices so uh, like I said I mean if I if I did eBay and I had the money I'd have a seven day set of Torres I'd get uh, seven of them in this six more of them in this blade style and put my own scales on them so that they would be it would look like a matched set they are Fantastic razors. That's lovely. Beautiful. I have to get my ears lowered soon. Generally, I get comments on that right around this time of growth. soon gentlemen Beautiful.
cold water rinse. Fantastic shave. And I'm going to finish off with the aftershave from Russell. Beautiful. Oh, that's slamming. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Great shave. All right. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later.